Suho asked to stop immediately, because this is not the place for such a thing. The guy was asked what he was doing there and why he was making noise in the library. Suho replied that he was simply choosing the right book and apologized for the inconvenience. The student said that it means he just heard something different. Suho exhaled with relief and again began to demand not to bother him, because his partner is invisible to other people, and he himself attracts unnecessary attention. The angel said that in this case he should take on human form so that everyone could see him. Suho said that there is no need to do this under any circumstances. Suho reminded them that they were in a public place and suggested they go home immediately. Angel admitted that he was a little upset and asked Suho to at least kiss him. Suho thought that this was some kind of curse, because if the angel continued to be so persistent, it would be difficult to resist his intentions. Jia asked where Suho was going in such a hurry because classes would start soon, and the class was in a completely different direction. Suho explained that he urgently needed to go to the toilet and that's why he was in such a hurry. The girl's companion asked if she knew Suho well, because she behaved like an eccentric. Constantly mutters something, there is a word next to someone, and there are even rumors that he seems to see ghosts. Although, most likely, Suho could simply have lost his mind, since he imagined something like that. Jia asked not to say such things about Suho, because she has known him since childhood. And if you get to know Suho better, it immediately becomes clear that he is a great guy. The interlocutor replied with disbelief that he was not sure of this, because Suho seemed not to be an ordinary person. Suho thought that it was all about ghosts. And even if he really wants to say how they can even exist, it's true. And he constantly sees ghosts and can also contact them. Sometimes you even have to talk to them and convince them of something. Ghosts have their own desires and some of them just want to play. Suho constantly tries not to show others that everything is fine with him. But, alas, it turns out badly and people notice his strange behavior. At such moments, Suho tries to calm down because he understands how wild he looks from the outside. And whenever possible, he avoids communicating with ghosts who distract in every possible way. Suho could not get used to constantly seeing these otherworldly creatures because it causes irritation and he wants to think about how to avoid this and concentrate on his studies. But that was until he met him, the one who made him reconsider his attitude towards his gift. And it evoked completely different feelings towards the otherworldly. Angels, unlike ghosts, are divine beings. And like reapers, they take the souls of dead people. Suho wondered what an angel could be doing at school, and whether someone had died nearby. Although the angel was looking into the classroom and carefully looking for something, Suho felt that this moment began to bother him greatly and could not forget it. Although soon the angel simply disappeared and perhaps all the fears were in vain. Suho decided that it was time to have a snack and suddenly felt that he was losing his balance. He shouted that he had asked many times not to do this because it was dangerous. And the young ghost from the first floor replied that he was sorry and forgot. Suho has long known an annoying guy who loves to appear right under his feet. Ghost asked why Suho was so serious even when he was all alone and explained that he just wanted to make fun. Suho reminded that such jokes can be dangerous and you can fall down the stairs and get injured. Suho realized that something was missing and demanded that the ghost return his wallet. The ghost replied that he was not involved in business and had not seen the wallet, and why did he need it? The ghost even offered to search him, but it's unlikely that Suho would be able to find anything. Suho realized that he had lost his wallet somewhere, but only where exactly it happened. Perhaps this happened in class, but there you will have to meet the annoying ghost girl again. Suho decided that he needed to sneak into the classroom unnoticed, bypassing the girl, and look for the wallet, because without it it would be bad. Suho was surprised and cursed to himself when there was a chick on his wallet. The guy decided that this was some kind of devilry, but suddenly the chick took off and took away the drawing. Suho decided that he needed to take the drawing and remembered that he constantly encountered strange things and could not do anything about it. Suho asked the bird to freeze and not peck, and reminded that you should not take other people's things. Suho thought something had gone wrong when he heard a crunching sound in his hand. After a moment, Suho realized that he was lying on the floor, because the pain in his back could not lie. And then the realization came that he was not alone at all, but with someone above him. The guy once again had the thought that the ability to see ghosts was very annoying. Because of this ability, you always have to deal with various inconveniences and get into unpleasant situations. Suho decided that he squeezed the guy too hard and that's why he lost consciousness. And now he has become a bird again and just lies motionless. Suho remembered that angel in class and realized that this was the same guy who was at his house. Suho was upset that everything had turned out this way 
and began to hope that the angel had not suffered too much at his hands. In general, the further you go, the more interesting things happen. Angel asked if Suho had woken up yet. The guy suddenly lost all sleep and asked the angel how he was doing, because yesterday he was bad. Angel clarified that Suho broke his wing and asked if that's all Suho has to offer. <laughs> Suho was surprised by the broken wing, and the angel explained that it happened at the moment when Suho squeezed the bird. Suho asked if it was really that easy to break an angel's wing. At the same time, the guy cursed himself inside for having harmed the angel. The angel replied that it was not easy at all, but this was the strangeness and something needed to be figured out. The angel said that Suho is an unusual person because he calmly sees ghosts and he can also harm the angel. Angel asked who Suho really was. Suho realized that he had gotten himself another headache with this angel. Friends asked what was on his head and was it really a new hair decoration. Dryly replied that it was an ordinary bird that stuck to him like a bath leaf. Jia found this bird very cute and the others were once again convinced that Suho was a very strange guy. Suho thought that the bird was certainly very cute, but the fact was that it was not just an ordinary bird. Suho said that he has no idea how he was able to break the angel's wing, and apparently it happened completely by accident. Suho reminded him that it was the angel who stole his thing and that's why it happened. Suho asked what was wrong with him and whether his wing really hurt that much. The guy offered to help and buy some medicine, but the angel replied that any medicine would be useless for him. Suho asked how, in this case, the angel's wing could be cured. The angel grinned and asked if Suho really felt responsible for his action. The guy replied that, of course, he understood that he was the angel, although he did not intend to do so. Suho felt the strange gaze of the angel on himself and wondered why this would be. The angel explained that when he is seriously injured, he can only be healed with the help of someone else's soul. After all, angels are capable of reaping human souls, and souls contain enormous energy. Suho asked if the angel would now take his soul away for healing. The angel replied that of course he would not do this and asked if he really looked like someone who would kill others to save his own life. Suho asked what they should do in this situation then. The angel suggested that the guy think carefully about this and reminded him that he should always take responsibility for his actions. After everything, the angel continued to follow Suho even to class. Dryly asked what the angel was doing and why he was distracted. The angel said that he wanted to straighten his hair because it lay ugly on his forehead. Suho asked not to touch him because now there is a lesson, although it was still naive to hope for the angel's understanding. After all, ghosts and angels only do what they want, and it is almost impossible to understand their real motives. Dryly trying to remove the bird from his head, he asked if it was really necessary to sit on the shoulders and head. After all, it may seem very strange to other people. Suho decided that the angel just decided to pretend to be cute. The guy said that he really could see ghosts and was even able to hurt the angel, but he couldn't help him with treatment at all. And he doesn't understand why the angel continues to trail after him, because there's no point in it. Suho, again losing his balance on the stairs, out of habit, cursed the ghost boy. But suddenly he did not collapse and realized that someone had grabbed him. Something crackled and Suho said that he was very scared. Angel asked if Suho was okay since he was trying to help. Dryly asked why the angel is naked, because this is wrong. Angel explained that it was Suho who tore his clothes while falling down the stairs, and this again confirmed his incredible strength. Suho decided to take revenge on the vile kid and began to kick him, reminding him that he asked him not to do that. The angel realized that Suho's soul contained enormous power and it wouldn't be bad to get this soul for himself. Dryly asked why the angel was looking at him so strangely. The angel replied that something funny just occurred to him. Angel said he saw Suho surrounded by ghosts and saw the impact they had, so he should be around for a while. Angel offered to become Suho's personal bodyguard and promised not to let him down in difficult situations. Suho wondered what it meant to be his bodyguard. Angel asked what decision Suho would make, but the guy replied that he didn't want that. After all, this angel doesn't even imagine what it's like to have an inhuman entity constantly following you around. Suho thought that of course he would be grateful if the angel would scare away ghosts from him. But if you think about it, this angel himself is no different from them. And what Suho hated most was getting involved with weirdos. Suho screamed in surprise and the shaggy creature shouted that he needed to look at his feet before walking. The angel noticed the abrasion on Suho's forehead and said that he should have taken it with him. And this could have been avoided, like last time. Suho replied that he was fine. The guy explained that he asked the angel not to constantly pursue him, because it made him feel uncomfortable. With, the ear exclaimed, what the hell is the angel doing?
the angel replied that with his help the wound would heal much faster, because this is one of his abilities. Suho asked not to do this to him again, because it was very strange. The angel reminded that he only wanted to help and heal as quickly as possible. Suho thought that he hated all ghosts. After all, I had to suffer because of them since childhood. Suho asked if there was any difference between an angel and a ghost, and if so, what was it? The angel replied that all this is difficult to explain and finally told Taiko his name. After all, I forgot to name him all the time. Taiko stated that since they were going to live together from now on, he should still introduce himself properly. Dryly asked if Taiko really decided to live with him. Surely at this very moment a person is dying somewhere and shouldn't an angel go there to take his soul. Taiko said that he cannot move long distances due to a broken wing, and, moreover, he does not have the Book of Life and Death with him. Angels usually carry this book with them and it contains the names of people who are about to die. Suho asked where Taiko's book went. The angel said that his book was destroyed a long time ago and therefore he cannot use it. Suho asked, what then about the work of collecting human souls that Taiko should do? The angel replied that he was not working now and was idle, and therefore he doesn't worry about it at all, because this is not such a problem. Suho thought that this guy was quite carefree. Suho apologized and said that he was very sorry for the broken wing, but unfortunately there is nothing he can do to help fix it. Suho said that if Taiko continued to follow him, it would be of no use, and perhaps it is worth turning to other people with such a proposal. Suho heard someone's voice calling Taiko and wondered who else could have been brought here. After all, isn't this angel in his apartment enough? Taiko was surprised at the guest and asked if she had really come to just see him. The angel girl replied that she really decided to see her boss. Taiko cried out in pain and stated that he had a serious injury. The girl asked if Taiko really couldn't fly, because she had heard rumors, but in reality it shouldn't be that bad. The girl said that Taiko doesn't look good and he doesn't understand what he's turned into. Taiko replied that she was too cruel. The girl said that at least she came with good news. She explained that since Taiko was now with Suho, it would be easy to take his soul and thus completely restore the wing. The angel girl said that Suho was going to die tonight. Taiko thought that today there is an opportunity to take the guy's soul, and that's good. But Suho is actually a good person. Suho felt someone's presence in the room and exclaimed who he was and what was happening. Angel was surprised at how Suho was able to hit him. After all, even if Suho is an unusual person, this is still too much even for him. Suho again asked the stranger who he was and why he had come. The angel replied that Suho just had to behave quietly, because his hour of death had come. Taiko was surprised to see Suho running somewhere, and in this form. Taiko understood everything when he saw the angel who was chasing the guy. Suho was horrified, trying to figure out what the hell was going on and why all these angels were chasing him. Suho thought that the angel would easily catch up with him and there was no chance of escaping. The angel suggested that Suho cool down and asked if he really believed that the stick would help him fight off the angel. Suho answered that if the stick didn't help, then why did the angel freeze to the spot? The guy asked what he really was and why he was pursuing him. After all, angels should collect the souls of people who have already died and not kill those who are still alive. The angel was surprised at the guy's knowledge and asked if it was Taiko who told him everything. Suho said, so that means they know Taiko. The angel replied that of course he was familiar, because Taiko was quite famous among them. And recently, Suho has become known as the owner of a powerful soul, which the lost son of heaven, Taiko, wants to get. Dryly thought how Taiko could want his soul, since he said that he was only around because of his broken wing. Suho said that the angel apparently misunderstood something about the whole situation. Taiko understood everything, how it happened, and most likely the appearance of Suho's name in the Book of Life and Death was the work of another angel, and he decided to take Suho's strong soul by force. But such an angel's intervention in human life is a violation of the rules, and this angel decided to take a desperate act because of quickly spreading rumors. Taiko was upset that Suho was targeted because of him. Suho decided that it was really the end for him, because the angel is very strong. But suddenly the pressure eased and Suho realized that Taiko was now standing nearby. Taiko asked if Suho was okay. The guy was indignant why Taiko appeared only now, because he promised to be a bodyguard and always help. But Taiko recalled how Suho himself did not accept his offer of help. The attacking angel thought that the matter was bad, since Taiko stood up for the guy and asked that apparently Taiko was now in trouble because of a broken wing. The angel offered to make a deal with Taiko. He promised to help with the injured wing if Taiko would allow him to take Suho's soul. 
Taiko replied that he did not want to listen to this nonsense, because the angel for the attack was now finished and he would report everything to the boss. The angel girl asked how he dared to use the book of life and death for personal gain, because this is unacceptable. Taiko promised the guy that now everything would be fine. His name was removed from the book of life and death. Suho reminded that it was Taiko who was to blame for this attack, so such excuses do not seem particularly convincing. Taiko said that he was very sorry. He had no idea that everything would come back this way. The angel girl stated that Taiko and Suho could, and then added that she was also very sorry. Suho said that he needed to return quickly, and Taiko asked if he was also invited to Suho. Taiko recalled that Suho recently wanted to get rid of him. Taiko thought that the guy looked very cute now. Suho said that Taiko could come with him this time. Taiko replied that he was glad of this and would consider it an honor to be there. Taiko exclaimed joyfully that he could now return. Suho asked what Taiko was doing and why he was captured. Taiko said that Suho injured his leg and so he would carry him in his arms. Suho said that he did not want to be seen floating in the air because an angel is not visible to other people. Taiko agreed with this remark and said that it would be better this way because he did not just change clothes but acquired a human form. Suho embarrassedly asked Taiko not to lick him because he didn't really like that. Suho suggested it would be better to use the first aid kit he has at home for treatment. Suho asked why that angel wanted to kill, since it was too early for him to leave this world. Taiko explained that of course they can be called angels, but each of them is greedy in their own way. And because he is next to Suho, the guy became famous in angel circles. And the angels learned how strong Suho's soul is. The guy asked if now he would really be in constant danger. Taiko replied that, unlike that bastard, the other angels are not so frivolous. But it's difficult to say for sure because everyone has their own desires. Therefore, Suho should reconsider the offer of protection. Taiko said that he wanted to become his bodyguard and it would be great to have his own personal guardian angel. Suho thought that when Taiko's guardian angel was nearby, in some sense it was even good. And that attacking angel was too ingratiating to Taiko, and apparently this indicates the power of Taiko. Suho even regretted what he did, because this angel in the form of a tiny bird himself wants to provide protection and care. And he broke his wings so carelessly. Taiko thought that apparently in the photo the guy's family and his mother were very pretty. Suho was surprised by the beautiful flowers that appeared to him in his dream and in his sleep he felt that he was somehow stuffy. Suho wondered what was wrong with this guy and why he was sleeping in his bed. And even when he first took him in, the next morning he also woke up next to him. Suho was surprised why this happened and this guy lay next to him during sleep. Suho noticed how amazing Taiko's skin feels to the touch and it is completely different from the skin of an ordinary person, and apparently this is a feature of angels. It is also felt that his body temperature is slightly lowered, although not as much as that of the same ghosts. Suho was embarrassed by his thoughts and thought why he was doing all this, so he needed to stop touching this guy. Taiko asked if Suho was really groping him in his sleep, because that's what real cunning people do. Taiko asked if Suho liked his body because it must be very attractive. Taiko admitted that he is also delighted when he touches the guy, because at these moments he becomes very warm. Taiko joked that Suho turned beet red and advised him not to be so shy. Suho said that Taiko misunderstood him and he didn't touch anyone at all. Taiko said that Suho is a very sensitive guy for reacting like that. Suho asked to leave him alone and stop talking nonsense. Suho shouted that he did not want such closeness, and Taiko noticed that he was treated too cruelly. Dryly muttered that he was just in shock and felt the attack more in his leg. Taiko asked if he was okay, and Suho replied that Taiko was very strange. Taiko asked what exactly Suho found so strange about him. The guy explained that Taiko was behaving very strangely, because he was showing concern for the feet of the one who had just kicked him. Taiko explained that he was barely hurt by the blow and reminded him that he was currently living under Suho's care. The guy said that this does not mean that you need to behave like a servant. Suho explained that he meant all this help and even the way Taiko carried him home last night, halfway across the city. Taiko asked not to worry about it, because it was just small trifles. Suho thought that maybe he was just fooling himself, and this guy was just good or was actually up to something, but it was still unclear what exactly. Taiko apologized for his behavior and explained that he just couldn't help it because Suho is very cute when he's nervous. Suho asked not to tease him or embarrass him like this anymore. Taiko said that he would go make breakfast and invited the guy to join him in the kitchen in a couple of minutes to eat. Suho wondered why the angel was behaving so carelessly, or if this was quite normal for him and he himself simply perceives everything acutely, although it is quite normal to feel nervous if you find yourself too close to another person. 
and most likely the angel is unaware of such excitement, or maybe they simply do not attach any importance to it. And Teiko probably decided that for him he was a very nice person, and that's why he was trying so hard. Suho decided that he no longer understood anything about this whole situation, and therefore he needed to quickly figure it out. Suho began to live with an angel, who sometimes turns into a small bird and can become an ordinary person. Suho didn't understand why he kept thinking about this. After all, Teiko himself is not even worried about this. Dryly plucking up his courage, he said that from now on he forbids Teiko to lie in his bed. The guy said that he had prepared a towel on the table and it would be comfortable for Teiko to sleep there. Teiko replied that the towel was hard and uncomfortable, and that it was much more comfortable for him to sleep in the bed. Suho asked Teiko to turn into a bird, because this way he would take up less space in the bed. Teiko replied that that's exactly what he did today, but Suho slightly crushed him, tossing and turning in bed. Suho asked, so that was why Teiko hugged him at night. The guy said that if Teiko wants to live with him, he must obey. Suho asked not to act so pitifully and promised that it wouldn't work. Teiko said that it was mean to do this and why only Suho could sleep on a soft and comfortable bed. Suho noticed that Teiko complains too much for someone who lives at other people's expense. Jia wished good morning to Suho, which surprised him greatly. The girl asked who this unfamiliar guy next to Suho was. The guy replied that this is his new friend and his name is Teiko, and he is also a foreigner. Jia asked that this was the friend Suho met when he went abroad. The guy replied that it's not exactly like that and they met Teiko quite recently. Suho asked what these strange will-o'-the-wisps were that were swarming around Jia. Teiko replied that he was not sure of their origin and that Jia might have picked them up somewhere. And this could happen in a place where there are many ghosts. Suho remembered that Jia said something about her trip to the hospital, since her relative was lying there. Teiko said that after this trip the girl looks exhausted and spirits are often attracted to people with weak energy. Although such creatures, in the form of lights, are usually not capable of harming people, and after a while they will just dissipate, so don't worry about it. Suho realized that Teiko always treats him well and perhaps he doesn't have any ulterior motives, and everything can be explained by his kindness, although it would be better if he got rid of this stupid manner of sticking around for no reason. The spirits were surprised at Suho's companion, because he did not look like an angel, but he had an otherworldly vibe. The ghost guy explained that he was really an angel and they had already been hanging out for several days in a row. The ghosts were saddened by this news, because because of their guardian angel they would now not be able to be with Suho. The ghosts knew that it was better not to mess with angels, because if you anger them, they can easily get rid of simple spirits. The ghost girl noticed how many spirits were hovering around Suho's friend, Jia, and decided to find out why this was happening. 